I'm a broken record at this point, because even though this movie isn't hugely successful, it's still another surprise. <laughs> Hotel Transylvania is a movie that follows Dracula, played by Adam Sandler. Something happens to him in his past where he just hates humans and he wants to get away from them as far away from them as possible. So he creates this hotel where all monsters can go and live. They're away from humans, they have shelter, food, everything, accommodations. And he has a daughter who's turning 118 and, you know, she has that teen angst bullshit. Then Andy Samberg comes in and he's a human, so Dracula has to try and hide him from the other monsters, otherwise the other monsters might try and kill him. That's the basic gist of the movie. Now going into this movie, I wasn't really looking forward to it. The trailer was fine. It was okay for kids, but for me it just looked like it would have been really childish and the humor wouldn't be as oriented towards me, I would say. I was surprised that I enjoyed this movie somewhat. It's not a very great movie. It's not even that good of a movie, but it's still enjoyable in my opinion. Because the voice acting, you have Adam Sandler who plays Dracula, and I could kind of tell it was Adam Sandler the whole time because he has a distinctive voice, but he still, he fit into the role of Dracula well. Selena Gomez plays his daughter. It's, uh... Stop. Then you have the Adam Sandler group, Kevin James, David Spade, Steve Buscemi. Those three guys are really good in the movie. Each of their characters had some pretty funny moments. Then there's also CeeLo Green who plays a mummy. And I just thought he was awful in this movie. His voice acting didn't really do anything. He wasn't that funny. And there were, there were some singing scenes in this movie. It's just so bad. CeeLo Green is a very bad singer in my opinion. He's just terrible. And in this movie, near the end of the movie, there is a scene where he's singing. It is so auto-tuned. It's insane. I was so shocked at how much he sounded like a goddamn robot. Because that's the only way he could sound semi-decent. And that wasn't even semi-decent. He was still bad. But that's the only way they think he sounds good. Because he sucks. CeeLo rant over. Now on to the animation. Let's go with that. The animation in the movie is very very well done. By this point in the new millennia, I think the CGI is pretty down pat. Everyone should have really good CGI in movies at this point. And in this movie, the animation is very good. It's very vibrant. The colors work together. Another thing I would say was pretty good about the movie was some of the comedy really worked for me more than kids. There were some nice nods to things that adults would get that kids wouldn't. I enjoyed that. Some of the childish humor got on my nerves and I actually enjoyed a little bit of it, so that was nice. But again, this movie isn't really aimed all that much towards adults. It's more aimed at kids and that's one of the things that detracted from the movie for me. And another thing about that is the overall story. I get that it's a kids movie and they have to teach them certain things, but I just found the overbearing parent story. I think it's so rote and cliche. I don't like that story at all. Like certain kids movie plot lines I can see myself enjoying more than this, because this one I just, I really don't like it. I don't find it interesting at all. And when they had to slow down for the dramatic parts of that, I, I didn't find it enjoyable at all. One more minor thing I could say about the movie is the fact that if a little kid saw this, I think it would be good for him because then he would see all these monsters that he's supposed to be scared of, but then they could see it in a comedic light, which I think would help them. This would be something I could see myself showing my kids right before I show them the actual horror movies. Overall, Hotel Transylvania is a movie that I would recommend to take your kids to see, but if you're a teenager or an adult just going to see it on your own, I don't think you'll enjoy it that much. I will give it a medium popcorn. It's it's fine. It's a fine animated movie. It's not horrible, but it's nothing spectacular. So you guys looking forward to Hotel Transylvania? If you've seen it, what do you think of it? What's your favorite, like, original monster? Like Dracula, Frankenstein, Mummy, things like that. Write your comments down there and tell me what you think. And if you like this video, hit that subscribe button up there, because if you don't, you're watching that goddamn Smurfs 2 trailer I saw. Oh, so bad.